sit here for the rest of my life and blame mommy and daddy and the Jehovah's Witnesses, but the fact of the matter is that they are no longer influencing my life, and so, you know, I have only myself to blame for my situation now, and I am trying, and I'm going to keep trying, because I just, I mean, I can successfully live life as mom and dad time. go back to where I was before I was a young professional in the network engineering world, but I'll be a slave, I'll still be a slave. I would be working a job that, you know, I kind of like, you know, if I was given the choice, would you do? <laughs> Which is what I call slavery. When you work a job you hate, but do it anyway because you have to just survive, that means you're a slave for somebody who's doing what they love while you work for them. And I'm not hating on those people. I want to be those people. <laughs> I used to hate on those people, but now I just, I understand. I really, it really hit home listening to Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I mean, it, it just validated and illustrated to me all the things that I was pretty much thinking about the system that exists, and there's a reason that people are slaves to it, and that reason is that people want to be. I'm just, I'm weird. I'm just ripping that bandaid off. It's like, you know, and I, I'm bitching about, oh, I have no family, blah, 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 You know what? I left them. I'm the weird, I'm the odd one out. Um, they don't owe me anything. I don't owe them anything. I'm just gonna go my way and let them go theirs. <laughs>